and welcome to part one to crochet this truck. It is a big challenge for me uh, because this is the first time I made a pattern in English so I hope you understand everything and everything is okay so please be patient with me because <laughs> it's my first time and I hope you understand what I mean and everything is okay. If you have any question, uh, in the description box is a link to my Facebook group and maybe you can send me pictures and, and you can ask your questions there if you want or here uh, in the comments, whatever you want. So let's get start with uh, all the materials you need to crochet the truck. Let's get start with the yarn. Um, I work with uh, Scharmeyer Originals Glanzperle. Uh, this is 50 gram and with 200 meters or 219 yards. You need 10 of these, um, actually 9 and just a little bit from the 10th. Then um, I used the, for all the little parts like this and the mirror and the tank and the, the pipes, the bumper. Um, I used this gray. It's um, Paradise Pearl. It is uh, 50 gram and 210 meters. You can use uh, any yarn you want. It should be the same size like this. Uh, you need two of the gray yarn, two of these, uh, two balls of these, and I used for the tires and this part here I used the twister, uh, twister spot. Um, this, this yarn is a little bit thicker than this then these two, um, it is 50 gram and 150 meters. So we need three of these. So 10 balls of these, two balls of gray and three balls of black, a little thicker yarn. And crochet needle with 2,5 millimeters. Okay, you need a, a big plate for under the truck. Maybe you can use a, a styrofoam plate or a thick cardboard plate. And all these parts here, we crochet two times and make cardboard in between. So you need two different sizes of cardboard. Uh, one time a little thicker with one millimeter. You can use uh, old boxes. And the other one is a little thinner for the hood and the fender. You can use um, the back side of, of, of this. And you need a, uh, a big one, a big, a big part, a big piece. Um, I use the, the back side of a calendar. I need black pipe cleaner for the steering wheel and a, a pipe cleaner the color of your choice for the hydraulic thing here. <laughs> and you need a red marker and a black marker and a thick wire for the pipes and for the tires here, from here to here. Um, aluminium, aluminium foil and a scissor and uh, the silver paper. So you can, uh, I used two different, two different silver papers. You can use anything you want. 
um, some pins and needles. Um, if you have a curved needle, uh, it is some some parts are easier to sew on with sew on with uh, a curved needle. Um, filling material and styrofoam pieces or pressed styrofoam pieces and something to make around these parts to look better to, to let it look better maybe you can use leather or felt or paper or whatever you want and then we need glue and hot glue one sheet of paper in black and one in white for the racing flag and this glue I don't know the name in English <laughs> um, uh, three sheets of plastic for the windows uh, one sheet uh, of uh, thicker paper for this this box in the back between the tires and if you want to make your truck with with light um, it is a 40 LED light uh, a wire light and it, it is uh, 195 centimeters uh, important a uh, uh, very important thing is um, the cardboard uh, in between should be a little bigger so it should be uh, tightly in between not not uh, loose so cut it one millimeter on each side bigger and and then it is perfect Um, my truck is 68 centimeters long. Um, if you use different yarn, um, your truck can be smaller or bigger. So that's up to you. You can use any yarn you want, but um, if, if the yarn is thinner, your truck would be thinner, uh, smaller. And uh, if the yarn is, is a lot bigger, your truck would be a lot bigger. But that's up to you. It is a little easier to crochet with polyacryl yarn because the parts we crochet two times and uh, make cardboard in between. Um, it is easier to to move it a little bit if you crochet with co cotton. Um, you can do it too, but it's not the same easy like with polyacryl yarn. But it's up to you. You can use any yarn you want. Okay, now you know all the materials I used. Mm, uh, I hope you have fun and I see you in part number two. Bye!